John Pastor E.A. Ibitayo every Sunday at 8 a.m. plus 2 GMT on RTM for another encounter on Back to Bethel. Download RTM's app on Google Play Store and you can also watch on YouTube. RTM TV World. God bless you. To set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he has set them, he has set the world upon them. Our God is powerful. His hand is mighty. Somebody who has been regarded as a non-entity. He can touch that person. And you become a celebrity. A great man can become a great man. I have good news for you. Those who have despised you, they will respect you. Those who have written you off, very soon, they will have to fill forms in order to see you. It will be established. Because the mouth of the Lord has said it. There is a place reserved for you at the top. You will get there. The mighty hand of God will lift you up. Psalm 75. From verse 5 to 8. Psalm 75 from verse 5 to 8. The Bible says, lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. Why? For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. Verse 7. He put it down one and set it up another. Why? For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup and the wine is red. Hallelujah. The almighty God is lifting you up in the mighty name of Jesus. All those who have been competing with you, they'll begin to envy you. Let me hear amen from somebody. Very soon your mates will be calling you master. We'll return all the glory to God for what he has done in my life. And I know that some of us we started very, very late. Maybe academically. My mates had gone before I took off. I got to secondary school secondary when I was almost 20 years old. You know the meaning of that. Anytime I say that, our children will be laughing. I was 19 plus, going to 20. When I should be getting ready to graduate. But somehow, the mighty hand of God landed on me. And all those who had gone before me, I was able to overtake them. All those who have gone before you, 
you will overtake them. In power. In anointing. In grace. In greatness. It will come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. I know what I passed through. You know what you pass through. When you talk of poverty, we tasted it. We ate it. We slept with it. But there's a God who can promote. He will promote you. He will preserve you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will send her pass of joy to you. Thank you, Father. I had a lecturer somebody who taught me executorship and bankruptcy mm, don't worry don't worry <laughs> I studied accounting accounting Things were so bad that I could only afford one book. In the Chendi one. And I bought it for 11 naira. While my mates were carrying study packs. Those who study accounting, they know what I'm talking about. I thought I was going to fail that course. Executorship and bankruptcy. Things were so bad that I didn't have the confidence for the first time to go and check my result in the Chendi one. I sent somebody to go and help me check. When the brother was coming, my, my, my heart was panting for the first time in my life. So when he came, I said, how many courses did I fail? He said, go and sit down. Get your result. Ah. I didn't fail anyone. I said I will never fail in life. Where I'm going is this. In 2006, I was transferred from Kano State, Nigeria to Ogun State. And before we resumed properly in Ogun State, I just went to one parish in Lagos called Acme. I served my wife just to worship. We decided to sit in the congregation though as a provincial pastor. I didn't make myself known to anybody. I just sat. So after the service I saw my lecturer. The one who taught me executorship and bankruptcy. Of course, he couldn't recognize me again. I said, good afternoon, sir. I said, good afternoon, sir. I said, your name is so, so, so. He said, yes. You were once a lecturer in social school. You say yes. What, I said, you taught me what executorship and bankruptcy. Executive yes. <laughs> God bless you, my daughter. 
Oh, so you woke up. Wavuga. Oh. You're yeah, welcome, sir. I said, where are you now? I'm a pastor in RCCG, sir. In this mission. So where are you now? I said, I'm a provincial pastor. I've just been posted to Okun State. He said, I will come to visit you. My former lecturer visited me. And he knelt down. He said, please pray for me, sir. I was humbled. I felt like crying. Who am I? That God who changed my story. He said this morning. He can change your story. What you need is just a touch from him. The rest is settled. Are you in the pits? He can take you to the peak. Those who are in the pits, men pity them. When you are in the pits, men will pity you. When you are in the valley, Nobody values you. But when you are at the top, you become the topic. Very soon, somebody is going to become the topic. The hand of God is landing upon you. I can feel the presence of my friend, the Holy Spirit, now touching somebody, lifting you up. I can see the power of God locating you. God is, oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, that's the Holy Ghost walking in the life of that sister sitting down. Ushers, go and help her. That's the power of God. That's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That's the grace of God resting upon her. Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Spirit. Great things will happen here today. Oh, Holy Ghost. I see the law picking somebody from the merry clay. I see him establishing you upon the rock. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I see God rearranging your life. Bringing you from the back seat to the front seat. In your family. In your town. In your city. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I get carried away at times when I think of the goodness of the Lord. At times I feel like crying. My wife is here, my sweet 16. When we were transferred from Abuja, Nigeria, Nigeria to South Africa here, a sent forth was organized. At the Asu Rock for us. At the government house. By our friend, the vice president. We were humbled. When they asked me to respond, I said, what will I say? What's in teen? I said, we, f- we feel like crying. Who will ever think that this will happen in my life? 
If not for the hand of God. I said some of us have been written off before we took off. Before you took off in life, some people said, no, this one cannot amount to anything. That's my story. That's the story of my wife. Particularly when I gave my life to Christ, my father beat hell out of me. In 1976. I said, who will ever think that this can happen? I said from, from the village to the villa. <laughs> Don't write yourself off. The hand of God is here. Tell your neighbor, don't write yourself off. The hand, hand of God is here. Let me close. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Number four. The mighty hand of God can break the arms of the wicked. The mighty hand of God can break the arms of the wicked. Every contrary hand upon your life is broken today. Psalm 37 verse 17. The Bible says, Psalm 37 verse 17, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken. But the Lord upholded the righteous. The arms of the wicked shall be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, because of our time, the mighty hand of God can grant you supernatural speed in the journey of life. The mighty hand of God can grant you supernatural speed in the, in the journey of life. I will read First Kings chapter 18 verse 46. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 46. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. Even as the hand of the Lord will be upon somebody. And he gathered up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezre. Can you imagine? Somebody was riding a chariot or horse. Somebody who was just walking. The hand of God landed on him and he arrived before that person. That's what the hand of God can do. Supernatural speech. That's your portion as from today. Somebody would know the full meaning of good speech. Where others are crawling, you will walk. Where others are walking, you will run. Where others are running, you will fly. Tell your neighbor you are on the fast lane. Say it loud and clear, you are on the fast lane. Tell the person, look at me. By the grace of God, I am on the fast lane. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. As they say in French, c'est fini. 
Hallelujah. Amen. It is time to pray. I will see you at the top. Don't think I'm greeting you all. I will see you at the top. I will see you at the top. God has given you an opportunity of a lifetime in this meeting. You must not miss it. I'm not going to waste time. You are here, you know it already. You need to be connected to this God. More than ever before. Maybe you've been connected to him before. But there was a disconnect. You need to come back to him. Whoever you are, as we bow down our heads, come forward. Don't allow the devil to cheat you. You've been connected to him before. There was a disconnect. Please come back to him. Stand up wherever you are. I would love to pray for you. Don't wait for your friend. Don't wait for your friend. This is a personal decision. Just come forward. Step forward. Opportunity of a lifetime must be seized during the lifetime of the opportunity come to the throne of mercy. Come. Come. John Pastor E.A. Ibitayo every Sunday at 8 a.m. plus 2 GMT on RTM for another encounter on Back to Bethel. Download RTM's app on Google Play Store and you can also watch on YouTube. RTM TV World. God bless you. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah.